Dreams are a gateway to the mind, and now Gabriel has paid a terrible price for succumbing to his weariness. The many sleepless nights since his love was taken from him, the fear of falling into sleep, the nightmares that haunt him have all played their part. Did he murder this poor girl, or is there some other explanation? Doubt gnaws at him now, eating his very soul. The golem protected this child for centuries, loved her dearly, and there was no way he would have let Gabriel live, yet alone give up the gauntlet. Few men could continue. Most would abandon the quest, but something deep inside forces him ever onwards. A dark force has taken hold, and all creatures of the night will come to fear him now.
Gabriel has fought long and hard to get to this point, and now he faces his stiffest challenge. The Dark Lord of the Lycans must be defeated if Gabriel stands any chance of bringing his beloved back. I fear he will suffer more than he knows once he discovers the truth, and yet his hatred and burning desire for revenge cannot be underestimated. He has the gauntlet, and he has Gandolfi's weapon. He is a force that even the Dark Lord will struggle to deal with. Good. Soon he will overcome this evil. Soon the world will be free of the Lords of Shadow, and plans long dreamt of will come to fruition. Go, my friend, go and break this creature once and for all. I have come to fulfill the prophecy. My acolytes were not lying. A warrior from the Brotherhood, here on Lycan soil. I wonder, warrior, if you know where you are and who I am. I am on desecrated land, and you and those of your clan do not deserve to live. <laughs> you say you are here to fulfill a prophecy. You and the other Lords of Shadow are protecting a power in your sanctuaries. I have come to reclaim that power. You. Alone. You dare enter my inner sanctum and dictate your petty mortal terms to me. I am immortal, little man. And your pathetic prophecy is known to me. But you are ignorant. Ignorant of the real truth of your situation. It is you who are ignorant. Ignorant of the pain and suffering you have brought to this land. Hear me. Many centuries ago, three great warriors founded the Brotherhood of Light, the order to which you belong. Their sole purpose was to serve God and defeat the Devil. For decades, the Founders fought fiercely against the spawns of Satan, and finally tipped the equilibrium in God's favor. Such was their commitment to the Crusade, that their studies in Holy Enlightenment led them to three sacred places, where the power of God converged with such intensity that it forged a bridge between the spiritual and the real. The Founders used that power to purify themselves, abandoning their human forms and transforming them into spiritual beings whose power was second only to gods. You tell me nothing that I did not already know, beast. Little did they realize that what they left behind were not their carcasses devoid of souls, but instead the dark sides of themselves. Don't you see? That is how we came to be. We, who you call the Lords of Shadow. No. You lie. This place is where one of your founders ascended into heaven, and where I was born. This is the place where, according to your prophecy, a warrior of light will reclaim the power of my beloved brother in heaven, and I too will diminish. If that were to occur, he would die with me, because we are still the same being. He and I, still connected. Kill me, and you kill him. Kill us all, and you will kill the saintly founders of your own order. 
<laughs> brother. Even you have to smile at the irony of it all. Perhaps he is willing to sacrifice himself for you. For the greater good. I, however, am not. I am Kornet, Lord of the Lycan. You don't stand a chance against me. Call yourself a warrior? Is this the best the Brotherhood? the Brotherhood could
Make haste, my love. Reclaim the power before it is lost. Oblivion. Sempiternum. Daemonis. must unite the two that remain. Come with me. Our time is running out. <laughs> 